Alright guys, I'm going to try another uh, Tavern Brawl. I lost my last one, so let's see how I do on this one. Pick my trusty mage again. Last time I got pretty wrecked. Uh, I had no idea what any of the cards that I was using uh, was, so that was kind of frustrating. Um, and my opponent just was way more prepared. He had better cards, he had better board control. He was just dominating me the entire time. Um, maybe it was a little bit of unluck, uh, unlucky pulls on my turn for cards, but really he just dominated me straight out. Um, so, yeah, that, it just sucked. Um, but we'll see what happens this time. And again, I'm going to try to say it less this time. If you have any... Damn it. Uh, I guess it's an okay hand. If you have any, uh, any tips, um, just let me know. I'm going to go ahead and end this turn and see what he does, or she does. I'm trying to get better using the coin. I know the coin can be useful, um, but I don't know how to use it properly. I don't know how to use the coin properly yet. I need to watch um, a couple more games, or a lot more games really, and just pay closer attention to how people run their coins, just so I can be more familiar with how they do it. Um, because I feel like sometimes I end up wasting my coin, um, or just not using it in the best way uh, that I can. So I want to throw out I want to throw out my Murloc, but that only puts me up to two. Uh, I don't really want to waste my damage on this guy, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. If you think that was a bad idea, let me know. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get good at board control and make sure that I don't get overwhelmed by minions. Last time kind of sucked, it happened anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that that's one thing that I keep in my mind all the time, is just keep the board as clear as possible. If you have a mech, go. I don't think I have any mechs to it. I'm gonna. It's probably not the best move. I told you I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna throw out my taunt, just so uh, he'll have to kill me next time. That way I can go ahead and get some face damage in. I'll try to explain why I'm doing things that way you can you can all tell me that it was a bad mistake but uh, at least if I can kind of explain it then whenever you say hey what you said was kind of made sense but you did it wrong you should have done this then it will definitely help me in the long run so yeah um, That was a pretty nice swap. Let's see, draw two cards. I don't think I have any mechs, which kind of sucks, because I don't know when I can use that card. And I don't know that I have any spell damage, but I'll throw them out there anyway, see what happens. Uh, he's 3-3. Three, three. 
So I'll go ahead and attack this guy. I won't die, but he will. And then next time I'll just ping this little guy. Assuming he doesn't attack and kill me. Uh, and kill himself at the same time. This match has gone on a pretty good while. Alright, so... He decided to kill himself, which is fine. It's a decent trade. He lost one and killed one. That's a pretty interesting uh, effect. I guess that was cool. Uh, so, yeah, let's do this. Try to get some of these people off the board. We're going to be top decking soon, which is going to suck. He's at 27, I'm at 30. We're pretty evenly matched for the amount of cards we've been knocking out of each other's hands. That's a good card. I usually run him in my regular hand, so... He can do some damage. I guess I'll throw this out and hope... God dang it. Of course. Shit, that sucked. I didn't know it would kill me. So he's going to do some nice damage now. He's got a six. Oh, crap. It sucks that it's all characters. Why can't it just be to his characters? I'm going to throw this guy out. I've never seen him before, so we'll see what he does. Man, this guy has some good, good cards, too. Or he's just playing his cards better, I don't know. Um, I need some time, so... I'm going to have to go ahead and freeze. It sucks, but... It is what it is, I guess. I'll just try to get them out of my way until I can throw out another character. I can't get these two guys off the board. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't even notice he had two health. That was my own stupidity. I was more worried about getting this guy with the higher damage out. But I should have been more worried about getting this guy out. It's alright, I'll sacrifice this guy. He's, I like him, but he's gone. I want to see what this guy does. Even if I... Uh, at the end of your turn, give a random minion plus one, plus one. That's pretty cool, but... I'm going to go ahead and knock him out. Uh, it started to deal two damage. I'll throw that out. And... Let's see what happens. 
He's got seven, so that sucks. He's gonna knock me down to ten. And I'll try to take him out with this guy, but we'll see. This match is going on a really long time. He's way higher than I am in health. And I don't know what cards he has. He could have Flame Strike, which could put me in a bad spot. He has a lot of attack boost, which are okay. I don't really want to sacrifice this guy, but I don't like the idea of that guy having 7 attack. Just too much uh, damage. That's fine. If he's going to start taking his health down anyway, I'll go ahead and sacrifice him. It sucks, but I can't deal with too many more 7s. I'm going to go ahead and knock him out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and knock him out. She's got five, so I'm going to go ahead and knock him out. And then... Alright. That was moderate board control, but I'm still a little bit annoyed that my board is still fairly empty and I only have six damage. If he has one flame strike, I'm done. Or a decent wind fury. And I can't use this now because I can't afford to go down to four health. Which sucks. No, I certainly can't afford to go down any. Um, I don't have a mech. Damn it. Oh, well, I'll throw that shit out anyway. Um. Alright, I might as well. I don't know what he's got in his hand, but I certainly don't want it messing with me. It's a really long, drawn-out game for me to probably lose. The odds are not in my favor. I'm already top-decking, and I don't even want to throw this guy out because he's just going to damage me. Oh, 4-4. Four, four. He's going to take me out. Especially if he has a charge. I don't know what this card is. Yeah, I'm going to lose. We all know it. So I'm just going to face attack and see what's what. Now, if he has a really baller-ass deck, he's got me. I don't know if he has any charge, but if he's got a charge, he's got me. Such a such a close game here at the end, but ultimately Oh shit, I got him. Are you fucking serious? Oh man. That's insane. And I got a pack. So not only did you spend uh, about fifteen minutes with me, uh on this crazy game that I was one hundred percent sure that I lost. You get to watch me open another pack, which is really cool. 
Man, I can't believe that. That's insane. I was 100% sure I'd... Ooh, nice. I like this guy. It's for all classes, too. Uh, he's the beast, by the way. Uh, the Mad Bomber for all classes. Soul of the Forest for the Druid. Mass Dispel for the Priest. And finally, the Patient Assassin for the Rogue. Man, I'm so glad you guys got to watch this. That was such a crazy battle. Uh, anyway, that was pretty long. Thanks for checking it out. If you have any tips, leave them below. I'm just really excited right now uh, that I won that battle. It was pretty hard fought, and I was almost guaranteed to lose, but it worked out in the end. Anyway, thanks a lot.